This is the screen as it appears running using IBM's client access. And this is the same screen running in the browser using access in default mode. Other than the header, which has been pulled in, I'm now going to show you how easy it is to make enhancements to the rest of the screen. First, I'm going to change the way the customer name is displayed. Then, we are going to change the billing and shipping flag to a checkbox. Add a drop down for the billing and shipping state. And finally, add a back button control at the top of the screen to return to the customer selection screen. This is what the screen will look like after we have made the changes. So now let's take a look at the Access Extensions Design Tool. This is the Billing and Shipping Address screen, which we are going to redesign. I've already started the redesign process by adding a banner and logo at the top of the page. I'm now going to continue enhancing this screen. I've opened up the screen in Design Mode. In this mode, I have access to the screen and element properties through the Web Page dialog seen here on the right. The screen is now in edit mode. Now I can select elements from the screen to edit. I can change the properties of each of the screen elements through the dialog box. I don't want to see this label, so I'll turn off the default visualization. The field label has now been turned off. Now to change the position and the properties of the customer name. To change the appearance of the customer name, you select the style property from the web dialog box. This will bring up another dialog box where we can set the fields display properties. Let's set the font color to white and the font size to 14. For this demonstration I'm only going to amend these two properties for now. You will notice I have also repositioned the label to the center of the screen. Now to change the billing and shipping flag field to a checkbox. To change the billing and shipping address flag field to a checkbox, you just change the default visualization to checkbox. You can set the values for the checked status. For this example, we are going to accept the default values. Now let's take a look at one way in which drop down menus can be added. Let's first change the bill state to a drop down box. Now we need to set the data source for the drop down. We can build a drop down from a fixed list of values which we can specify in this dialog box or we can populate it from an external data source. If the source is external it can be an XML file, a dynamic table or a static table. The dynamic table is built on demand while the static table is loaded at the beginning of the session and doesn't change for the duration. In both cases the data is loaded from the IBMI data files. For this example let's select static table. Once the table type has been set, we need to select the static table to be used. I have previously created a static table which contains a list of US states. I'm now going to repeat the process for the shipping state. Now that the drop downs have been created, I now need to add a clickable image to the top of the screen that, when pressed, will exit out of this screen returning me to the customer selection screen. The new element will be an image. The default path for images is set to the IFS of the IBMI, so we will leave that as is. We just need to specify the image name. The image can now be dragged with the mouse and then dropped into position. We now need to associate an action with that image. This is achieved by setting the on-click properties which will execute when the image is pressed. A notepad will open up which will allow you to enter instructions to be executed. In this example we will need to emulate the pressing of the function key for cancel which is F12 and then we close the notepad. We have now made all the necessary changes to the screen so we select the save option. Click OK on the confirmation box and now we see our finished screen. We have added drop downs. We have replaced a simple status flag with a checkbox. And finally, we've added an image. 
that returns the user to the customer selection screen <coughs> when clicked.